How's it going everyone? Sean here from Raw Technique Studios. This video is going to be going over the Apollo Twin interface as well as a couple things uh, with the software as well like the UAD plugins that come with it and just an overview of it. I've been using it for about a week and a half maybe two weeks now and I like it uh, but let's just break it down what it does and how to use it. So here's the Apollo Twin by Universal Audio. Uh, it's an interface. It has two preamps in it. If I twist it around here, you can see how I have it all set up. Mic 1 is put in right here. That's what I'm talking to you guys through. Mic 2 is right here. This is my monitors left and right output. Those are going to my speakers that I can listen through. Um, line outs. These are extra line outs. So if you have a headphone app, you could do that. If you have uh, another set of speakers, you can do that as well. Right here, it's a Thunderbolt cable. That's how you connect to the computer. Uh, underneath it is just the power adapter. This is the power switch and then an optical uh, in. This is so you could get up to eight extra preamps if you're going digital. And then flip it back around. We have a couple features on the front that Right now I'm on preamp on channel 1, which is why you're hearing me. Uh, that's my input there. I have a, you could turn this on or off. This is a um, high pass filter. So it's cutting out the low rumble. So it's up to you whether you want that on or off. 48 volt, that's your phantom power. You need that to run a condenser microphone, which I'm using right now. A pad, this is, say you were recording a snare or a, a kick drum, something that's really loud, you might need to use a pad. This right here is a phase uh, inverter, so sometimes you might need to flip the phase on something. And then link, so you could link channel one and two. So if I hit preamp again, it brings me over to channel two, and then here's channel one. Uh, right here, this is, you can hear, I'm getting louder and then quieter on my preamp. That's the preamp volume. I found that when doing these tutorials at least, halfway is good uh, to talk to you guys. Monitor, this shows you what my monitors uh, are being, what audio is being sent out the monitors. If I click it, there's the monitor feature, there's the headphones. So you could see, you could toggle between headphones and monitor. Go back over to the preamp. Uh, oh, one other thing on the monitor, if you click the button, it turns red. That is like muting it um, but if you have headphones still going you can see you can mute oh, let me mute the monitor but the headphones are still getting volume all right so that's just the basic features of the Apollo twin and there's not a whole lot to it it's really basic and easy to use and it sounds clean and clear uh, you could hear through my voice now that it's nice and clean there are things you could do with the software, so the plugins that it comes with. It comes with some like vintage preamps and stuff. I haven't really messed with the preamps yet, but I have messed with some of the compressors and things like that. So um, let's flip over to the screen and I'll show you a couple of the plugins I use and uh, one issue so far that I've been getting into. And just a side note, this is the uh, Duo, not the, the single one. It's the one with two processors in it. So it handles a little bit more uh, plug-in power. Okay, so let's take a look at the session um, and how the plugins are all set up and everything and a, one issue that I've ran into. So I have about 36 or 37 UAD plugins in my session and they are uh, compressors mostly, one reverb, and then I use this, which sounds amazing by the way. I really love this thing for mastering or for beefing up a beat. Uh, this thing sounds great. So anyways, the one issue that I've been running into is say I want to throw on another plug in here. I'm going to throw on another of the that tape emulator. And I run into this. UAD powered plugins info. One or more UAD plugins have been disabled. So you can see here I can't use that plugin. It's disabled. The plugin was unable to load because DSP load limit was exceeded. Now I'm using the Apollo Twin Duo, the one with the, it's their stronger one with the two uh, DSP chips in it. So it could run faster and uh, handle more. So I was, I was expecting it to handle a little bit more than the amount of plugins I use. Like they're not 
crazy plugins. I'm not putting this tape uh, emulator on every single track. It's I'm only using it on the master, and then everything else is the compressor here, and this compressor here, and then the um, reverb here. All right, so those are the only plugins that I'm using. I'm I am using them on several tracks, as you can see. I have about 37, uh, I think maybe 40 tracks or so, but uh, I'm not using it on all of them, but I am using it on several. So I just expected it to handle a little bit more as far as plugin, uh, the amount of plugins I could use. Now the benefit is that because it's running it off of the interface on the inside of those DSP chips, it's making it to where my computer doesn't have to have a CPU heavy load. It's running faster on my computer so I could throw in all my waves plugins everything that's on my computer and then all the uh, UAD plugins are running off of the interface so it helps you with speed in that sense it's taking some of the load off of your computer uh, which is great I like that idea and overall it's a great sounding interface the preamps sound awesome uh, it's nice clean and clear you could hear me talking through it now it's nice and clean the all the functions I like the easy access headphones to uh, monitor mode and you can plug a guitar in on the front if you want and your headphone uh, just plug it in on the front as well uh, so it's really I like the setup I like the sound I just wish the DSP was a little bit stronger it could handle a little bit more plugins um, but overall I would recommend it so if you were thinking about picking up a new interface and this was something you were looking at then having used it I like it so um, it's up to you guys what you pick up I mean if you find something that sounds great then that's not this and that's cool but from my other interface to this I feel like it's a little bit of an upgrade I'm losing some features I'm gaining some features the gain is the are those DSP uh, chips in here that help me run the power for, so my computer's not lagging but I just got a new computer so that re didn't really need the help anyways um, the I could still do a headphone amp on the back I could set up an extra set of monitors so that's good the uh, Thunderbolt connection that's different for me my other interface was Firewire and my new computer doesn't have a Firewire connection that's part of the reason I upgraded to this interface so as far as it being an upgrade I think it sounds a little bit better just a little bit it's not a huge difference but also the plugins are a big big bonus and the plugins sound amazing so that's good um what i'm losing going from my other one to this i can't have an outboard compressor anymore but the way this is set up the plugins act kind of like an outboard compressor to where you're recording in through the mic it goes into this interface it runs through the plugins on its own DSP chip and then it goes out into the computer on the DAW. So you're printing with a compressor just like you would be with an analog compressor. The only difference is you don't have a big piece of gear on your desk. Uh, instead it's just a plug-in inside of your Apollo Twin. So you're still pretty much doing the same thing. It's The only difference is one's a plug-in, one's analog. Uh, but it sounds great. And yeah, it's up to you guys what you pick up, but I like it. And a lot of people were asking me to do a little overview and a review on it. So that's it. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully that helped. Peace.